So, as you can see, I have just a couple of drums. The 24, the 13, and the 12, along with this other Imperial Star, by the way. These are all Tama Imperial Star drums, but those along with this floor tom and this bass drum, I traded a snare for. So as far as this kit goes, I just need a rack tom for it, but I found one online, so you'll see more on that later. So today we're gonna focus on this mess. And I forgot to mention that the 16 and the 22 I bought separately on eBay. So today is a pretty simple project. We just gotta clean everything and complete a drum set. And the plan is to make it a 12, 16, 22. And then I'll probably sell the 13 and 24, but I have those here right now for parts if I need them. While I disassemble the kit, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, DistroKid, a site that gets your music onto all of the major music platforms in the absolute easiest way possible for a flat yearly fee. With DistroKid, you keep all of the earnings, 100% of them you keep. Plus, if you're in a band or collaborate on a track with someone, you can set it up to automatically split up the earnings so it's one less thing you have to worry about, and you can focus on being a musician and not an accountant. So for all you independent musicians out there, I highly recommend DistroKid since it makes getting your music out there so easy. Plus, if you use the link in the description, you'll get 7% off your first year's membership, so be sure to check that out. I'll have these listed on my Reverb store, only $30 a piece if you need one. Now I can address this seam that's coming undone on the floor tom. This is double-sided carpet tape, and I'm peeling the top layer of paper just a little bit so I can slide it under the wrap, and once it's in place, I can push it down so that one little piece is adhered to the wrap. Then I can peel off the rest of the paper and press down so that it gets a good bond. And then I'll take off the bottom paper so everything is nice and secure. Now I'll give it the soapy water treatment. It already looks a million times better just getting off all the loose dust. And here is where I kind of screwed up. Oh God. <laughs> that is not good. Oh God, what did I do? Wow, really? Oh, please tell me this comes off. Well, it turns out I could. I tried just about everything, but the only thing that worked was to hit it on the buffing wheel with some car polish. And that was goof off, by the way, so if you have a kit like this, do not use it. So while I was at it, I buffed the rest of the shells to get all the other crud off. I started to buff the lugs too, but I realized it was going to take forever, so I tried something new which I don't know if I would recommend. This is CLR, which worked beautifully, here's a before and after, but on some of the hardware, which I guess had thinner chrome, it kind of left it black, which it was only on the floor tom leg mounts and bass drum spur mounts, but everything else came out beautiful. So with that information for the bass drum T handles and claws, I just rubbed them with the CLR instead of soaking them and it brought the shine right back. And since I was in an experimental mode, I wanted to try and blacken all of the screws. So I left them in CLR a little bit longer to take them to bare metal and then I blackened them. There's still a few little spots of rust, so I think next time I need to do a better job of removing it all before I blacken them. Just about to start cleaning the bass drum hoops, I found a present. But if we listen to the hoop when we move it around, you'll hear a little bit of rattling. 
You'll see there's a section of the inlay missing, so the plan was to make this the bottom. So I'm going to drill a hole in the hoop to see if I can remove whatever it is inside. All of that was inside the hoop. And now there's no more rattling. For all of the rims, including the bass drum hoops, as well as the other hardware, I just used soapy water and aluminum foil to get all of the crud off and then hit them on the buffing wheel. Then for the tension rods, I used soapy water and a paper towel to clean them since they really weren't that bad to begin with. I know I said they weren't that bad, but all of this came off of the tension rods. For the mufflers, everything was like really greasy, even the stuff that shouldn't be greasy like the actual arm, but I just used some goof off and some q-tips and cleaned them up. And now we can reassemble. There's a few things that I didn't show that I guess I should mention, like the brackets for the inside of the spur mounts. I plastic dipped because I didn't feel like stripping the chrome to blacken them. I was missing one base drum claw, so I took one from the 24. And one of the spur legs came from the 24 since the 22 only had one. I broke one of the lugs while putting it on the floor tom, so I took one from the 13. And also, I removed the nuts from the leg mounts and used regular wing nuts instead. The swivel nuts on the 12 inch lugs were kind of rusty and orange looking and they didn't match the other drums, so I just happened to have enough new ones to switch them out. And last, for all of the tension rods on the toms, I replaced the metal washers with black plastic ones. So yeah, there's the kit. This thing cleaned up really nicely, like way better than I was expecting to be honest. Uh, the plan was actually to sell this kit and keep the other one that I showed in the beginning because that one was in a little bit better shape. But after cleaning this thing up, this thing is like in near mint condition. Also on the other kit, I needed a rack tom for it. So I found one on eBay, but it's 12 by 11. 
and I bought it with intentions of cutting it down to 12 by 8 but it turns out I can't do it because the lugs, they basically would be touching, which I don't want to do that. So I'm going to sell that kit, keep this kit, and if you're interested in buying the other kit, there's a link to my reverb page down below. And also, I forgot to mention, this snare is also an Imperial Star. It didn't come with the kit, I bought it separately on eBay, but this is known as the King Beat snare. This is 14 by 5 has diecast hoops and a parallel strainer. And shout out to Will and his son Garrett for selling me this thing because it's pretty badass. So as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. But that's all I got for this one. Thanks for watching.